Imagine a world where electronics meet nature, where technology finds its roots in the very material it mimics. Today, we unveil the world's first wood transistor. But what makes this wooden innovation so groundbreaking? Can it pave the way for a new era of sustainable electronics? And what applications could this extraordinary discovery unlock? Hey there folks, welcome to our channel. Here we explore the latest trends and developments in the tech industry, from cutting edge technology to the latest science discoveries. In this video, we will explore the first ever wood transistor. But before we move forward, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel and tap the notification bell so you won't miss any of our uploads. Development of transistors. Transistors, invented by William Shockley, John Bardeen, and Walter Bratton at Bell Laboratories in 1947, have undoubtedly had a profound impact on human civilization. These tiny semiconductor devices, often hailed as the building blocks of modern electronics, are considered by many to be as significant as other transformative inventions, such as the telephone, the light bulb, or the bicycle. At their core, transistors are electronic switches that can control the flow of electrical current. They are typically composed of three layers of semiconductor material, N-type, negative, P-type, positive, and N-type again, forming what is known as a junction. The most common type of transistor is the bipolar junction transistor, BJT, which consists of two PN junctions. One of the primary functions of a transistor is to amplify electrical signals. By regulating the current passing through it, a transistor can significantly boost a weak input signal, making it stronger and suitable for further processing or transmission. This amplification capability revolutionized the field of telecommunications, allowing for long-distance communication and the development of devices such as radios, televisions, and cell phones. Moreover, transistors can also act as switches, controlling the flow of current in electronic circuits. When a small current is applied to the base terminal of a transistor, it can turn on or off a larger current flowing between the collector and emitter terminals. This property makes transistors invaluable in digital logic circuits, enabling the creation of binary systems used in computers, calculators, and countless other digital devices. Over the years, transistors have undergone significant advancements. From the bulky and power-hungry early models, transistors have evolved into much smaller and more efficient components. The advent of integrated circuits ICs, and the ability to fabricate transistors at the nanoscale using techniques such as photolithography and etching have led to a tremendous increase in computational power and the miniaturization of electronic devices. The relentless progress of transistor miniaturization has been largely guided by Moore's Law, an observation made by Gordon Moore in 1965. Moore's Law states that the number of transistors on a microchip tends to double approximately every two years, while the cost per transistor decreases. This exponential growth in transistor density has been the driving force behind the rapid advancement of computer technology, enabling the development of more powerful processors, memory chips, and various other electronic components. The emergence of nanoscale transistors, such as the field effect transistor, EFET, has further pushed the boundaries of what is possible in the realm of electronics. EFETs, which rely on the manipulation of an electric field, offer superior performance in terms of speed, power consumption, and scalability. These advancements have paved the way for innovations like wearable technology, smart appliances, autonomous vehicles, and the Internet of Things (IoT), where tiny transistors play a pivotal role in creating interconnected and intelligent systems. The Emergence of Wood Transistors Scientists at Linkoping University, in collaboration with researchers from the esteemed KTH Royal Institute of Technology, have achieved a groundbreaking feat by creating the world's inaugural wooden electrical transistor. The team's pioneering work has introduced an entirely unprecedented concept. While acknowledging that the wooden transistor currently suffers from limitations in terms of speed and size, Isak Enquist, a senior associate professor at Linkoping University's Laboratory for Organic Electronics, emphasizes its functionality and immense potential for further advancement. Enquist explains, Although the wood transistor may currently exhibit reduced performance and bulkiness, it undeniably operates as intended and harbors remarkable prospects for future development. Previous attempts at creating wood transistors were limited to regulating ion transport and ceased to function once the ions were depleted. In a remarkable breakthrough, 
the scientists at Linkoping University have achieved a significant advancement by developing a transistor that operates continuously and regulates electric current without degradation. To construct their transistor, the researchers opted for balsa wood due to its unique characteristics. The technology employed necessitated a grain-free wood with a consistent structure throughout. They meticulously extracted the lignin from the wood, leaving behind elongated cellulose fibers with cavities previously occupied by lignin. Subsequently, these cavities were carefully filled with a conductive plastic or polymer known as PDOT, PSS, resulting in a wood material capable of conducting electricity. This innovative approach not only allows for the creation of a functional transistor, but also imparts electrical conductivity to an otherwise insulating material like wood. Leveraging this innovative approach, the researchers successfully constructed the wood transistor and demonstrated its impressive capability to regulate electric current, ensuring uninterrupted functionality at a predetermined output level. Moreover, they discovered that the transistor possessed the ability to toggle power on and off, albeit with a noticeable delay. Switching off the power required approximately one second, while turning it on took about five seconds. While the delay in power switching may be perceived as a limitation, it is important to recognize that this pioneering wood transistor represents a groundbreaking achievement in the field. The ability to control electric current and achieve continuous operation marks a significant stride forward, despite the inherent speed restrictions in its current form. The breakthrough achieved by the Linkoping researchers holds immense promise for the field of electronic engineering. The development of a wood-based transistor that can continuously regulate electric current marks a significant step forward, expanding the possibilities for sustainable and environmentally friendly electronic devices. Regulation of electronic plants. The development of the wood transistor holds promising prospects, including potential applications in the field of regulating electronic plants an area of robust research at Linkoping University. One notable advantage of the transistor's spacious channel is its potential ability to tolerate higher currents compared to conventional organic transistors, making it particularly relevant for specific future applications. However, it is crucial to emphasize a key point highlighted by Isak Enquist, the senior associate professor leading the research. The wood transistor was not created with a specific application in mind. Rather, it represents a significant advancement in basic research, showcasing the feasibility of such a technology. The researchers hope that their groundbreaking achievement will inspire further investigations, eventually leading to practical applications in the future. The study received vital financial support from the Knut and Alice Wallenberg Foundation through the Wallenberg Wood Science Center. While the wood transistor was born out of curiosity, it has laid the foundation for inspiring further research and groundbreaking applications in the future. Truly, nature and technology can emerge together, opening doors to a sustainable future. What potential applications do you envision for this groundbreaking technology? How might it revolutionize the electronics industry? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest content. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video.